Besides being considered as one of the most successful rapper in the world, P. Diddy is a successful billionaire businessman who knows very well how to enjoy life, relishing from a lot of luxury. But have you ever stopped to wonder just how this billionaire leaves? In this video, you'll find out everything about the luxurious life of P. Diddy. But before we get started, I challenge you to click on subscribe and turn notifications on in less than five seconds. Okay, let's get started. Born in 1969 in New York City, U.S., Sean John Combs, also known by his stage names Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, or Diddy, is an American rapper, record producer, record executive, entrepreneur, and actor. Diddy first became a global superstar thanks to his record label, Bad Boy Entertainment. As a music executive, he launched or shaped the careers of numerous artists, including the notorious B.I.G., Mary J. Blige, and Faith Evans, and produced tracks for Usher, Lil' Kim, Mariah Carey, among many others. In the late 90s, he released the first of multiple successful rap albums and won his first Grammy for Best Rap Album. Throughout the 90s and early 2000s, he continued to churn out albums and win awards. Diddy has won three Grammy Awards from 13 nominations, two MTV Video Music Awards, and a Guinness World Record for Most Successful Rap Producer in 1997. Outside of music, he has worked in production for other media, including MTV's reality series, Making the Band. And with such massive success, he can now enjoy a very luxurious life. Like many other successful billionaires in the world, Diddy has a multi-million dollar mansions. He has a mansion in Holmby Hills, California. The European-style villa has about 17,000 square feet of living space in a two-story main house with a 35-seat theater, a gym, and a wine room. The 1.3-acre property includes a lagoon-style swimming pool with a grotto and an underwater swimming tunnel. There is also a 3,000-square-foot guest house and a separate spa house that has a steam room, massage room, and beauty salon. There are a total of eight bedrooms and 11 bathrooms. A grand double-story central foyer and curved staircase allows access to three multi-room master suites and three ensuite bathrooms. He bought the mansion for a whopping price of $39 million. He also has two mansions in Star Island Community. One of the mansion is a 13,700 square foot mega mansion estate, which he purchased back in 2003 for over $14 million. Another one seats on 1.3 acres of land in the exclusive Star Island Community. The mansion measures 8,000 square feet. The exterior of the home features a crisp white painting from the entrance gate to the main structure and is complemented by large, lush palm trees in the center court and other foliage spread out through the surrounding area. Inside the magnificent structure can be found six bedrooms and ten bathrooms, perfect for the large company of guests the Monsters Ball actor often invites over for raving parties. He bought the mansion for a whopping price of $35 million. When it comes to cars, the music mogul has an impressive array, including what is widely considered to be the best car in the world. He has, for example, a 2012 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited valued around $50,000, a 2019 Cadillac Escalade valued around $80,000, a Chevrolet Corvette valued around $120,000, a Ferrari 360 Spider valued around $180,000. A Ferrari F430 Spider valued around $220,000. A 2008 Lamborghini Gallardo Spider valued around $230,000. A Rolls Royce Phantom Drophead Coupe valued around $350,000. A 2016 Maybach 57 valued around $420,000 and a Rolls-Royce Phantom valued around $500,000. When you own your own private jet, there's nothing stopping you from showing it off and flying in it on every occasion. Diddy has a Gulfstream G550 that has been painted black called Air Combs. The Gulfstream G550 is an ultra-long-range jet powered by twin Rolls-Royce BR710C411 engines. It has a range of 6,776 nautical miles, and a maximum cruising speed of 562 miles per hour. 
During the day, it can seat up to 16 passengers and provides enough sleeping space for six passengers at nighttime. He bought the private jet for a whopping price of $60 million. When it comes to wealth, there are only so many ways that the uber-rich can distinguish themselves from the merely extremely wealthy. Status symbols serve that purpose, and a yacht has become one of the most obvious and recognizable symbols of affluence and power. Called Mariah, the yacht was built in 2008. The luxury symbol boasts a range of amenities. It measures 177.8 feet in length and can accommodate up to 12 guests in comfortable cabins. Guests on board will certainly find themselves experiencing the peak of comfort with a gym, cinema room, and even a children's playroom. The yacht comes equipped with a crew of 15 to attend to any guest's needs. It also includes both formal and informal dining areas and a nightclub-like lounge. He bought the yacht for a price tag of $65 million. While the rapper likes to shower his family and loved ones with presents, he does not hesitate to treat himself to a good gift. For example, he gifted his son Justin on his 16th birthday with a Maybach 57, a luxury vehicle valued around $360,000. And for his mother's 80th birthday, he bought her a $300,000 Bentley Mulsan, plus a check for $1 million. With all his wealth, Diddy once bought an artwork painting by artist Carrie James Marshall for a price tag of $21,100,000. On his watch collection, he has a Rolex Day Date 2 valued around $50,000. An Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore valued around $80,000. A Beauvais Fleurier Amadeo Skeleton valued around $100,000. A Patek Philippe Nautilus chronograph valued around $700,000. A Patek Philippe Nautilus valued around $800,000. A Jacob & Co. 5 time zone valued around $1 million. And a Patek Philippe Nautilus jumbo valued around $1 million. Diddy operates in a world of extreme wealth. In the three decades since he started Bad Boy Records, he has amassed more money than nearly any other hip-hop artist. Diddy is also a successful businessman. He started a clothing line, Sean John, in 1998, which won the CFDA Award for Menswear Designer of the Year in 2004. He is also the head of Combs Enterprises, which is the umbrella company for his business portfolio. In addition to his clothing line, Combs helped develop the Kyrock Vodka brand for 50% of the profits, has a major equity stake in Revolt TV, and purchased a majority holding in beverage company Aqua Hydrate in partnership with actor Mark Wahlberg and businessman Ronald Burkle. Diddy became a major investor in PlayVS, which provides infrastructure for competitive gaming in high schools throughout the United States. In addition to his music career, Combs has also enjoyed a successful acting career. He has appeared in films such as Made in 2001, a Raisin in the Sun, among others. In addition to his successful career as a record executive and producer, Combs has also enjoyed a lucrative solo music career as a recording artist himself. Under the name Puff Daddy, Combs recorded his first commercial work as a rapper in 1997. Diddy's record label brought in about $130 million annually in its prime, according to a Business Insider report. His own music, including albums and singles, generates $100 million in royalties. His subsequent albums also met with success. Throughout his musical career, he partnered with other famous artists. Diddy has an estimated net worth of over $1 billion and keeps rising. If you were Diddy for a day, what's the first thing you'll do? Let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to ESLab Life. Catch you in the next video.